What's up, you beautiful legends? You clicked on this video because you grew a PC in the garden, but you want a good Minecraft experience on your potato PC. And that's okay. Not everyone can afford a good PC. And the best equipment is what we currently have. So I'm going to show you 10 Minecraft low-end shaders that can run on any PC and make you feel like a queen when playing in your world. I will be showing off all shaders in the day and night time and in each dimension so you get the full feel of every shader. And the FPS will be shown in the top left of the video. While it might get low at times, I am using a render distance of 30 and a simulation distance of 10. And some of these shaders give insane FPS. So let's get right into the video. Starting off the list, we got Chocopic Light Shaders, and these shaders are sharper than a hot knife through butter. The water keeps a really nice vanilla feel to it, while also adding some reflections. The color balance is perfect for daytime, and it's also not too bright or too dark in the shadows. Walking around your world just looks beautiful now. And exploring the nighttime, it's perfect ambience, as it's not too dark, and it still gives off a scary vibe when seeing mobs. As we move into the nether, it looks like we have gone into an orange, as it gives off an orange tint. But overall, it's not too bad for exploring, and gives off a good feel for the the nether. In the end dimension, not much changes, but it does give a darker tone. Next up, we got Builder's QOL. This shader does not change much visually in the overworld, but it does give a bit more vibrance and its main focus is how good water looks, which is perfect for you water lovers. Nighttime gives a good hue to it and it has good visuals, so you don't get lost walking around. At first glance, the nether looks normal, but when you enter certain biomes, the forbidden orange juice turns into a blueberry smoothie and it honestly looks cool. The lava is also wavy, which is a great effect of a nether. And as we move into the end, we'll see we get a galaxy looking sky that has some nice lightning effects. Makes it feel like a real boss battle. Silda's Enhanced Default is a low-end version of Silda's Vibrant Shaders, and although you can use Silda's Vibrant Shaders on low setting, these keep it very vanilla looking, but it adds in wavy water. It makes the nighttime look great when exploring, and has a good light spread on light sources. But if you like exploring in the nether or the end dimension, these shaders do not change much for those dimensions. I was blown away when I first seen these shaders. The fog, sunlight, reflection, and colors feels like you just laid in a freshly made bed. It's so goddamn good. The water waves at you and also has a white foam around the edges resembling salt water waves, which is pretty cool. But just walking around these shaders, they are perfectly balanced. So I bet Thanos made these and it has one of the best nighttime visuals I've seen before. So I'd recommend these shaders to anyone trying to show off new builds. Moving into your uncle's basement, we see the lava has been burnt in certain areas, which gives a scarier feel for the nether and exploring some new areas is way too dark to bring a flashlight down here with you. And fighting the Ender Dragon now feels like an epic battle with a black hole in the starry sky. Can you beat the dragon before you get sucked into a black hole? No, you do not need to apply makeup really quickly to use these shaders, but they do make a quick ultra fast makeover to your world, making it feel like a dream when exploring the daytime or the nighttime and the water looks silky smooth. Even the villagers are getting good night sleeps with how calm and well looking the nighttime is. The iron golem is way too calm to protect anything. These light up the nether perfectly without overdoing any fog or ambient effects so you can see anything hunting you down from a mile away. And the end gives you a nice cloudy dark vibe to it perfect for fighting the end dragon. There is no spilling the tea on these shaders. They don't change much in your world, but they do add some cool water effects. So if you want minimal shaders, these are perfect for you. Walking around the nether gives you a nice color saturation, but looks kind of dull and nothing changes in the end dimension. Now, if you have an issue with lag, try the new lag delete kit with lagless shaders. With wonderful visuals and fog when walking around the daytime, this pack is not heavy on your homegrown hardware, and it still gives you cool looking water for all you water lovers. The nighttime is dark and burnt like your dinner, but still bright enough to explore. Bring a flashlight down to the nether, as it is kind of dark here, but going for a stroll along the lava gives some great visuals. And I'm not sure if the end is meant to be like this, but I can't see nothing. Let's put on our red hat for some nice looking shaders. The red hat shaders give off good saturation, making for some great daytime visuals. Staring into the sun does not burn your eyes because the sun is fake. So looking down at how good the world looks, we can see it has great looking water with a dark blue hue to it for a deep ocean look. Nighttime is kind of dark, but that's what you expect when the moon is out. But it's still good for exploring. The nether does not look too hot with there being too much color tint and not much balance between the dark and lights. And the end is also broken, unless I'm just stupid and don't know how to use shaders. Let's saw right into these ones. Sora shaders keeps the same vanilla colors, but adds in new and improved sun 
and some silky smooth looking water. The night time is nice and bright walking through villages, so you can easily see golems yeet some zombies. For the nether, we go back inside the orange, but this one suits the nether as it's not too overdone, and it's nice and bright down here. And to the end, it does not change for these shaders. Finishing off the list, we got Project Luma. These shaders look great during the day, with everything perfectly balanced, and these shaders do a great job at making water look wet. The night time is good with everything being lit up perfectly, so you can easily see villages from miles away, and the light reflections on water look pretty damn cool. This has to be one of the better looking nethers I have seen, as it's not too overwhelming with colours or fog. And the end also does not change for these shaders, which is a bit upsetting because these shaders could have big potential for the end. Thank you legends for sticking around until the end of the video. Will you be using any of these shaders? I was personally shocked at how well Choker Pick light shaders ran and how well it looked. It was probably the best shader on the list. Don't forget to check out my other shaders video if you are brave enough to try out more shaders. But if not, I've heard YouTube is good at recommending videos. So check that one out and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.